Hey there, it's Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com, that lady on the internet who loves you, connecting you to the love that heals so you can love yourself from survive to thrive. I want to encourage you today that you are not alone and you can succeed. And I want to unpack that to help you win in your life. That doesn't mean you're going to succeed at absolutely everything you do. But as your life as a whole, we go through things. Life can be really hard. We go through difficult things, challenging things, traumatic events, all kinds of things. And where are you in your life right now? I want to encourage you, if you're struggling, you're not alone. And don't be alone. We can feel like we're alone when we're going through something hard, when we're going through something dark, when you feel like I am the only one and no one could ever understand. Well, it may be true no one can climb inside of you and know how you're feeling and thinking except for God. But other people have gone through things, variation on a theme. There are people in front of us in life and behind us in life. We can look to people who have been through things and get help from them whether that is one-on-one -on -one in person through coaching or counseling or getting a book, taking a course, or reading an article. I have a blog on my website, daniellebernock.com. That might be helpful to you with whatever you're dealing with. You could do a search for that. And then when we get through a dark time, then we can help the people that are behind us to come forward because we are not alone. And by Coming together with other people, it strengthens us. We can fill up on love and get courage to do things in life because we feel like quitting when things get really dismal. We want to just lay down and not get out of bed in the morning. But we won't succeed in life that way. Our life will just pass us by and we'll actually get more and more miserable. So how can we succeed in life other than just, you know, talking with other people or tapping into things they have for us is we have to take ownership of our own life. There's always hope. If you're breathing, there's hope to take ownership of your life. Where are you at now? Evaluate where are you at now? What can you control? What can't you control? Because we can't control everything in our life, but there are things we can control. And if we will take ownership of what we can control, we can succeed in the next step, in the next step, in the next step. We can have goals, we can succeed in something to become. We can become a better person, a better version of ourselves. We can discover gifts, talents, and purposes inside of us, what I like to call our God-given greatness. And if we feel like we're alone and we're not succeeding, that's what we need to do. We need to tap into that God-given greatness. And that doesn't mean you have to conquer the world or go up Mount Everest or become president or something huge. It just means something that's great inside of you. That could just be being a great friend, loving well, being a great babysitter, a great grandma, a great mom, a great dad, a great brother, sister, nephew, niece, whatever the case may be, or a great employee, a great boss, whatever that greatness inside you, great at being kind, great at saying things nice to people, encouraging others. There are so many ways that we can have greatness inside of us. So I wanna point out to you my book, Because You Matter, I have that here. The subtitle of that is How to Take Ownership of Your Life So You Can Really Live. If you're really living, you're gonna be succeeding. And in that book, you'll learn how to take ownership of your emotions, of your mind, of your pain, yes, of your pain, of your mess, yep, of your mess. One of the ladies I interviewed inside there, I love to quote her, she said, we gotta own our mess no matter no matter how bad it stinks, or own our crap is how she puts it, no, no matter how bad it stinks. That's, that's what gives us the power. We have the power. You have the power. You have power inside of you. So I encourage you to reach out for help in some capacity if nothing else, get a copy of my book. That will help you. There are 10 people I interviewed inside that book, and you can connect with maybe one of those, maybe one of those people in that book. Maybe that's going to be the person you need to connect to that's going to be, oh, man, they get me. Because someone does. 
Someone does, and you matter, and I love you, and that's why I want to share this with you. And even listen to other interviews on Victoria Soul's podcast of other people who have been through hard things and how they were not alone and how they succeeded. There is a way. You are not alone, and you can succeed, and I love you. Till next time, bye-bye.